My name's Dick Sheehan. I'm uh, the first uh, of uh, many survivors uh, who've been shot while wearing Safari Land vests. I was a patrolman for the city of Colorado Springs. I was shot with a 22 rifle, shot twice in the back, but there was no injury whatsoever from the bullets. I ended up in Colorado Springs uh, because I got out of the Army at Fort Carson, Colorado, and that's how I ended up in Colorado Springs. Uh, in the Army, I was a helicopter pilot. Uh, I served uh, in Vietnam, then at Fort Carson. After I got out of the Army, uh, I was living in Colorado Springs and saw an ad in the paper that they were hiring and uh, put in an application, and my application was accepted for, at the police department. Just before midnight, I was on patrol and uh, saw some suspicious people around a moving and storage company. I could see one of them was carrying what looked like a rifle. Called for backup and uh, got out of my cruiser and lost sight of them. Uh, couldn't see anybody, but I could hear what sounded like somebody running. Uh, so I continued on around the edge of the building. I heard a noise behind me just after I ran by some uh, packing crates that were stacked up. I heard two shots and felt something strike in my back. I, I was hit twice in the back, about an inch apart, uh, and uh, would have would have one or both of the bullets would have struck me in the heart if I hadn't been wearing the vest and stopped it. When you're a policeman, I get, you know, you know that something could happen, but I don't think you really consciously think about, uh, well, I may get shot today, but you, you, you do realize things can happen, so you have to take precautions. I, I was uh, the, evidently uh, the first saved by Safari Land, and uh, Neil Perkins, the, the owner of the company, uh, invited me to come out to, to California to Safari Land, and uh, I went out there, met with them, uh, got a chance to see their operation and uh, how the vests were made. Just knowing that there had been uh, over 1,800 officers that have been saved uh, while wearing vests is, is phenomenal to me. Uh, to, to realize that that many people have been saved, and probably a lot of them saved because the first guy, the second guy, the third guy, the fourth, and whatever, reading about somebody being saved was probably the impetus for them buying and wearing a vest. What I found is over the years is I've done more things, and as I look back, especially, I, I can see what I would have missed had I not been wearing the body armor that night. I got to be a battalion commander, which had always been one of my dreams uh, in the military. Uh, I got to learn to fly the Apache helicopter. Uh, I have a, a wonderful son and daughter-in-law, two grandchildren, that uh, I wouldn't have if, if the, I hadn't been wearing the, the vest that night. And retirement now. When I was in the hospital watching my son born, uh, probably the most important day of my life. Uh, it, in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, maybe this isn't as important as I'm thinking because if I hadn't been wearing the vest that night, I wouldn't be here. There would be no baby being born uh, that's my son. Uh, so it, uh, it was significant at the time uh, but the older I've gotten, the more significant that night in February has become. You really appreciate those things more and more the older you get. Of, uh, what, what, what might have happened if it, you wouldn't have been wearing the vest and it would all stop that night.